Lake, her campaign and her Save Arizona Fund were all named in this lawsuit. Stephen Richer's attorney claims Lake kept repeating that Richer impacted the results of the election last November. He says Lake did that to further her own agenda and line her own pockets at his expense. The lawsuit shows examples of Lake posting or speaking about Richer specifically. She had tweeted that Richer and supervisor Bill Gates printed the wrong image on ballots so tabulators would jam all day election day. Her War Room Twitter account also posting online that Richer and Gates were two clowns who sabotaged election day. She challenged the election results in court, but the court at the state or federal level did not agree that the election was taken from her. Richer says his family has been threatened over the last election. While it can be difficult to prove defamation towards a public official, local attorney Tom Bryan says Richer has what he needs. It's one thing if she were just out there saying my, my election was stolen. That's not what's going on here. She's out there saying Steve Richer stole the election from me. That's what she's saying. Ryan says Lake's defense team might have a tough time with this one since the courts have said the election wasn't taken from her. So he says they might want to settle this and never let it get to a trial. Richard sent us a statement tonight saying, quote, while I followed the law, the defendants chose to engage in a concerted campaign to destroy my reputation, threaten my livelihood and rob me and my loved ones of our safety and well-being. Richard went on to say in America, no one is above the law and I am standing up for that principle and seeking justice for what my family and I have been put through. Now, we reached out to Carrie Lake's team, but they have not responded. You can find the lawsuit paperwork on our website and news app. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family. Michael, thank you.